Hi there! You are about to watch a young woman with POTS complete the strength exercises as per the CHOP protocol for POTS. So two things you need to know as we get started. One, this woman is not a trained medical provider, nor is she trained in athletic science. And two, she recorded these videos over a series of days. It was very hard for her to do all of the exercises in one day. All right, enjoy and good luck with your exercise. Hey, it's Shelby. This is one of my two videos on the CHOP protocol strengthening exercises. This is a video in which we're just going to go through the exercises together. If you haven't seen my other video that talks about more on how to do the exercises, you might want to go back and find that one. But for those of you who are here to exercise with me today, welcome. Thanks for being here. Make sure you've got what you need. That could include water an exercise ball, ankle weights, a resistance band, and a pillow, and anything else you found to be helpful for you. So if you are all set to go, let's keep on going. If you forgot something, go ahead and pause, give what you need, and come right back. We're going to start today with our wall sit. All right, so go ahead, get in position. We're gonna do three sets of 30. Okay, so you've got your arms down, shoulders relaxed, back against the wall, making 90 degree angle. We've got our feet out in front of our knees. All right, so our first one is done. Go ahead, give yourself a break. Okay, we're gonna get right back to the next one. If at any point you feel like you need a longer break, go ahead and pause the video. Take your longer break. No problem. All right, so our second one. Nice job. Two wall sits are done. Take that break again, however you need. I like to bounce my legs a little bit. Okay. And moving on to the third wall sit. Nice job so far. If you're finding 30 seconds is a long time, you know, go ahead and take out your own timer and time for however many seconds works for you. That's totally okay. Okay, great job. Okay, go ahead and get your ball out and find that seated position where you've got your 90 degree legs the best that you can, your shoulders down and relaxed, and your abs engaged. We're going to start with three sets of 15 of the marching exercise. So you're going to cross your arms like this. You're just going to pick up one foot at a time. So one foot then the other is considered one march. It's two. And you'll notice I'm not going to count for you because everyone goes at a different pace. So I might get 15 done before you. You might get 15 done before me. And I don't want you to feel pressured to go at my pace. Okay, so 
So I've done one set of 15. Take a little break here. Okay, go again. All right, so that's one, two, You're having a hard time keeping track like I do you can count each time one of your feet goes up or you can also just use your fingers to count so for me each time my left foot goes up I might just go like one you know just count on your fingers whatever works for you okay. and again take whatever amount of break you need a third set. Okay, so we've got done three sets of 15 for the marches. Now we have three sets of 15 for the leg raises. So this is the one where you have your arms down to your side, shoulders back and relaxed, abs engaged again, then trying your best to make 90 degree angle with your legs. So you keep your arms down for this one. And you're gonna go one leg up, we're gonna hold it for one, two, three, and lowering, slow and with control. And then up, one, two, three. Okay, so that is considered one if we're counting. Okay, so one, two, three. One, two, three, slow and with control. Two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. And now move at your own pace through the rest of this exercise. Just check in with yourself. Make sure you're still breathing and make sure your abs are doing the work. I've just noticed that my back will take over a lot in this exercise. Instead of letting my back take over, just every few have to check in and make sure I'm breathing and I have my abs engaged. Okay, I finished one set. Maybe you've already finished a set. Maybe you've moved on. It's okay, move as you need throughout the video. And if you're thinking, I'm sick of sitting up, this is our last sitting up exercise.
Okay. So if I'm being honest, I'm feeling a little bit sick in my stomach and a little bit lightheaded. So I'm going to leave it at two um, of those repetitions, but if you can do more, go ahead and, you know, pause it, do some more. That's going to be it for me for the sitting up exercises. All right, folks, it's time for the plank. I try to do the plank early in my workout when I get to the floor because it's my least favorite. I'm not going to do it at the end. Okay, so choose whatever plank position it is you're going to be in. Make sure you're going to keep your shoulders kind of down. You're going to keep your abs engaged as the one doing the work. We don't want to see any like butts of steel that are doing all the work. And you definitely don't want to feel it in your back. That's an area that commonly can compensate. We want to feel it in our abs. So here we go. I'm going to start with this position. You're going to look out just slightly in front of you. Like I'm looking to like here, just a few inches. That helps keep your face and your neck in alignment with your body. Okay. Okay, so today it seems like I had about 15 seconds. Hold it for however long you can. I forgot to time it, so I'll time my next one. Okay, I'm going to move down um, a position to my elbows and my knees, and hopefully we're going to do this one for 30 seconds. Make sure you're breathing. Your shoulders are back, not up by your ears, and your abs are the one doing the work. Nice. All right. We've got one more repetition of 30 seconds. Whew. Here we go. Nice, 30 seconds, nice. All right, good job on the planks. Okay, we're moving on to the side plank. Start with whatever side is comfortable for you. Um, and if it's not comfortable, you could do a regular plank, you can skip the section, whatever you'd like to do today. You're gonna come up on that elbow, making sure your elbow is below your shoulder, your arm is out. And then we want to have our body stacked straight in a line below the rest of us. And remember, you can either come up onto a knee or you can come up with your feet stacked onto your side. Choose whichever works for you for the day. We're going to do three repetitions of 15 seconds on each side. All right. Three, two, one, go. Take a break. Whew. Okay. And <laughs> here we go again. Side plank number two for this side. 15 seconds. Ready, go. You got it. There's five more seconds. Uh, great. Taking another break. Let's 
All right, get ready to go again. This is our last one on the side. You're doing great. Even if you're taking a break and laying down, you're still doing great. You're here. Three, two, one, go. All right. Whew. And switch to the other side. I did this so you can see me. Normally, I just do a roll. I think that is a little easier to do. Okay. Okay, so different sides of our bodies are different. So pick whichever plank form feels best for you on this side. It might be the same that you did on the other side, and it might be different. Either one is gonna be fine. All right, get yourself situated again. That body straight in alignment, ready to lift off. And three sets of 15 on this side as well. Here we go. Five seconds. Okay, one down, two to go. And three, two, one. Three more seconds. Done. Okay. Let me just have one more plank form type thing to do. Okay. 15 more seconds. This is the last 15 seconds for this exercise. Three, two, one, go. Okay, great. That is it for those planks. Okay, we are moving down to the laying down exercises. We're gonna start with two core based exercises and then move on to more leg based exercises. So we're gonna get into our position for the bridge. So you've got your feet slightly in front of your hands. You've got your legs about hip width apart. Your toes are pointing straight forward. Try to roll those shoulders down, get them relaxed. And we are doing three sets of 10 and we're holding each position for 10 seconds. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna roll ourselves up into that straight line, engaging your core and your butt muscles. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And down we go. Slow and with control. All right, so that's one. Here we go again. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And down. And up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Down. All right, we're halfway through our first set. Here we go. Up, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. Okay, so that is one set. So we're gonna move to a second set. Some things to remember. Make sure you're breathing as you go. My example is not great because I'm counting out loud, which is not actually recommended. And make sure that you are engaging your core and your butt. You might start feeling it in your lower back. That means you're gonna wanna try to make some modifications as to what muscles you're engaging if that does happen. All right, here we go, starting our second set. Get all ready in position and curl up. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, down. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down. Up. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. All right, we've got four more in this set. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down. Okay, doing great. We've got a little bit more to go, one more of these sets. If you're feeling really, really tired, it's okay to sit this set out. All right, so here we go, getting ready for the third set. Okay. 
All right, here we go. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down. As we're getting more tired, it's important to make sure we're still keeping the form and our body's staying in that flat diagonal line and that we're engaging the proper muscles. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down. Three more to go. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down. Last one. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down. All right, give yourself a pat on the back. We are done with the bridge. We're gonna start with the Pilates hold. You're gonna get into position similar to how you do with the bridge. Knees up, feet pointing forwards, hands just slightly behind your feet, shoulders kind of relaxed. And for this, we're gonna do two sets of 30. If you watched my other video, you know that going up and down every 10 seconds, as the CHOP protocol recommends, does not work for me. So instead, I just do a longer hold. So I will get my timer out. Right, three, two, one, here we go. Using that core, engaging ourselves, kind of keeping your neck relaxed as best you can. And continuing to breathe as you hold this. All right, relax. That is one Pilates hold. Okay, and we will get ready for our next one. Here we go. And relax. 
Okay, so those are the Pilates hold. We're going to go ahead and get started with the laying down leg exercises. Now, the first one we're doing is the straight leg raise. So you're going to have one knee bent and the other leg straight. You can use a pillow if you want. You don't need to. And you'll notice I have ankle weights on. You can add your ankle weights if you want. Again, it's not necessary. Since I have ankle weights, I am only doing three sets of eight. Um, it says to do three sets of eight to ten for each leg. So here we go. I'm going to count these ones out because you do want to make sure you're going slower on these. Okay, so. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight. Some things you want to make sure you check for before you start the next route or the next set are making sure your hips are staying flat so that this one hip isn't trying to come over. So you can do that by engaging your core. Also making sure that you are engaging your thigh as you are raising up. Sometimes I can get a little sloppy with my foot, which you might have just seen. Make sure you've got your foot flexed back, too. That'll help with that engagement. Okay, here we go. Set two. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Nice work so far. We've got one more set. Take a little break. And here we go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. All right. Now we're going to switch to the other leg. And we're going to do three sets of eight. Okay. Here we go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, 
six. Seven. Eight. All right, two more sets of straight leg lift. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. <sighs> okay. All right. And our final set. Keeping that thigh engaged. Here we go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. All right, let's get ready for some side leg raises. So you can use a band or you can choose not to use a band. I'm gonna start with a band um, and if I get tired, I might just take the band off or if it becomes uncomfortable, I just take it off. So I wrap it around. Mine's super long, so I'm just gonna tie it in the back here. Okay, all right. If you have the band, you want to make sure that it's flat. Mine starts to roll in, and that's really uncomfortable. All right. So once we're ready, we're going to be laying on our side. Our legs are going to be stacked on top of each other. If you want, you can take that bottom leg, and you can um, bend your knee so the leg's a little behind you for some extra stability. And we're going to do three sets of eight on each side. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Two, three, making sure you're moving slow and with control. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, little break. Two more sets on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, <sighs> and eight more. One, two, oops, two, three, four, five. 
six, seven, eight. Okay, so hopefully you're feeling a burn kind of in this upper part of your leg. Upper as in the part that's upwards right now. So we're gonna switch to our other side. We're gonna do the same thing, the other side. Okay. So, same thing, make sure your legs are stacked on top of each other. And slow with control. Gonna raise the leg and lower the leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. So that's one of our three sets. And the second set. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, last set for the side leg raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, only a couple more leg exercises to go. So from our side leg raises, it makes sense, especially if we're using a resistance band, to move into the clamshells because with the clamshells, you can either use a resistance band or not. You're gonna be on your side. You're gonna have your knees slightly forward and keep those ankles together. You're just gonna lift that top leg and go down. We'll do three sets of eight as well on the side. The same as with our other leg exercises, moving slowly as we raise and lower the leg. That's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Take a short break and do eight more. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we've got one set left on the side. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, 
eight. Okay, so now we'll do the other side. So just move to your other side however is comfortable for you. For the video's sake, I'm gonna sit all the way up, but normally I just roll over. Okay, and we'll get into position again on this side. Those knees just a little out, ankles glued together. And three sets of eight on this side. One. Two, Eight, two more sets, here we go, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Take a breather here. Just check in. Make sure you continue to breathe as you're doing the exercises for our final set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Nice. So you've got one more leg exercise to do. All right, guys. So if you are following the order that I'm doing the chop protocol in, this is the last exercise. Yay! Good job for getting here. And if you are skipping around, woo! -hoo! Good for you for being here too. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, for this one, you're gonna need a pillow, or if you happen to have a Pilates ball, one of those like little squeezy balls, you can use that too. Just something to put between your thighs. So you're gonna be on your back with your feet just a little bit apart, not so that they're touching, but just, you know, a couple inches apart. And you're gonna put the pillow between your thighs, or the ball, whatever you're using. We're gonna do three sets of eight, holding for five seconds. So you're gonna squeeze your thighs in, hold for one, two, three, four, five, and release. Squeezing in, one, two, three, four, five, release. Squeezing, one, two, three, four, five, release. Squeeze, one, two, three, four, five, Release, 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 squeeze, one, two, three, four, five, release. Okay, that's one set. Two more sets. To make it more difficult, squeeze harder. So imagine you want to get that pillow as flat as you possibly can. All right, here we go, starting our second set. Squeezing. One, two, three, four, five, release. 
please. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Sweep. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Halfway with this one. Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five. Release. 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 Okay, so you've got one more set. Here we go. Squeezing. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Squeezing. One, two, three, four, five. Release. One. Squeezing. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Squeeze. One. Two, three, four, five. Release. Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Squeeze. One, two, three, four. Five, release. Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, release. Okay. Kudos for you for getting to the end of the video and for whatever you were able to do today. Every day our bodies are different and we can do more or we can do less depending on the day. So good luck on your journey with exercising with POTS or any other condition you are facing. And feel free to reach out anytime.